we are very complacent and we take granted that most of us are from a Christian background. So like we don't have any persecution, we don't have any problem. I'm here with my brother from Tripura. So brother, would you identify yourself? Yes, I am Kholi Kishum, studying fishery science in College of Fishery. I am from Manibu. All right, you are the only delegate there? Yes, I'm the only student delegate from Tripura and even in, from Nordis in this HM. All right, so what are the takeaways, some of the takeaways from this uh, you know, general meeting? Yeah, the general, like for me personally, one thing I learned is as a student, we should be competent in what we do, excel in what we do as a testimony. In which like area, many of us lack that commitment and the um, excellency in our own field. So I think like to be able to reach out more students or to be able to connect people, we should be very competent in our own field. That's what I Learn from you. That's, that's very important, very significant. So when you look at uh, the campus of your institution, so what do you feel that the students need the most? I, comparing the current environment in Tripura, the basic thing like we lack is leadership commitment. We are very complacent and we take granted that most of us are from a Christian background. So like we don't have any persecution, we don't have any problem. So when we stayed in the hostel, we don't have the conviction and the commitment. That's what we struggle, most of us struggle with. All right, uh, what about the EU to EGF transition rate in Tripura? Are there are many students joining as EGF? Uh, no, actually many of the students bus out, they go back to their own home state, but they don't join the EGF graduates. The one thing is like when they go back home, the main thing is uh, local perception of most of our parents doesn't know about this ministry. They are only focused in the church. So when they go back home, they don't connect with the senior EGF or to the staff out there. They just go back and connect with the church or they don't involve in the ministry anymore. So in Tribura, most of the students, around 80 to 85 percent are from other states coming and studying from Masa, Manipur, Nagaland, Mizoram. But most of us, after coming and joining in EU ministry here, working very active, after we graduate, we don't join anymore. So, yeah, the transition is very, I would say, it's very, very bad for now. Right. When they go back home, they are not immediately plugged in. Yes. So, what do you suggest that we do as EBSI at the northeast level or at every state? What, yes, what for, should we do? For me, like, my concern now is, like, to connect with the state staff or the, the uh, senior EGF. Uh, those students which are in other state to reach out to connect who is passing out and who is graduating in the year and to reach out to those people who are active in the ministry so that when they go back home they wouldn't be uh, just uh, like staying in home or they will be drawn to other way so like the best thing is to reach out to the leaders uh, graduates and the staff that's what I guess. Thank you very much for your time. God bless you.